Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous video, we learned about how to create a subsequent mask for decoder. And also we have seen like how we can apply it on a simple uh, use case uh, like a single input. So in this video, we will extend it for um, uh, multiple uh, inputs or a bias size. And also uh, we will uh, extend it for uh, multi-head attention. Also, we will see like how we can uh, update our self attention module to accommodate uh, this uh, masking strategy in attention. Okay. So first let us look at how we can extend uh, uh, the current code to support uh, batch inputs as well as uh, multi head attention. Okay. So it is uh, like we have seen in encoder use case. It is similar. So we don't need to change much. So in case of uh, multi head attention, you will have uh, the attention shape of best size cross heads cross sequence length cross sequence length and when you apply it uh, is simple like it is the same as earlier and in case of single head you will have the attention score with best size cross sequence length cross sequence length and the application of masking is the same so first let us look at uh, uh, this use case and uh, then we will look at the second use case where we have the single head okay so let us run and see the scores so now this is our uh, ones matrix and then when we apply the apply the triangular upper method we get uh, this matrix and this is the actual mask that uh, is uh, needed for uh, subsequent masking so for input one this is the attention mask and for input two this is the attention mask. In in case one, we have uh, three mask tokens and uh, our three pad tokens. And input two, we have two pad tokens. So now we will look at the attention scores and this corresponds to head one. So in the first row, we have one token enabled. In the second row, we have two tokens enabled and so on. This is the input one and we have three pad tokens. That's why you can see uh, last three rows have three uh, tokens masked in case of input 2 we have two tokens so there are two tokens that are masked in last three rows okay and in head 2 it is the same as head 1 so only the scores will change the masking strategy will be the same now to look at uh, it for single head it will be like uh, we simply comment this and uncomment this part Okay, now the attention shape would be simply like best size, cross sequence length, cross sequence length. Now let us run and see it. Now it is single head, so we will have just one head and the masking strategy would be exactly same. Okay, so for this, uh, the first input, we have three mask tokens and you can see uh, the last three rows have three mask tokens and in case of Second input, we have just two mass tokens. So I hope that is clear. And now let us update our attention module to accommodate the masking strategy as well. That's the main thing that we wanted to uh, accomplish in this video. Okay. So to do so, we need to uh, change a few things. So as I also added a comment, so for the actual self attention module, these these should be uh, commented because they are mainly to reproduce the output to make it more understandable okay the other thing that we need to do is we simply add a new uh, argument here let us call it mask is equal to none okay and this is simply like the default behavior would be exactly same if there is no mask is provided so it won't apply masking if there is a, a no mask if mask is provided then it will apply masking on attention scores and to apply the masking on attention scores we simply call this mask fill on attention score as we have been doing uh, in our uh, previous couple of videos okay so we simply apply mask fill and then we simply call mask is equal is equal to one and value is equal to minus one e to the power nine so it's the exactly same so we can call it here value is equal to as well that will be it 
now to test it we need to create an instance of it and uh, then we need to pass mask as well as input to this module okay so let us do that so to do so let us update here only okay so we simply need so we can uh, remove this part okay? because now we will be using actual uh, attention um, module so let us create a uh, uh, let us create an instance of uh, self potential module. So let us call it attention model is equal to self attention. So we need this uh, scaled one. Okay. And what it needs, it, it needs embedding dimension. So let us create that as well. Let us say embedding dimension is uh, 4 and it needs embedding dimension is equal to 4. Okay, and what else it needs is hertz dimension or the model dimension. Let us call it 3 and let us call number of hertz is equal to 2. Okay, so this is our attention model. So, in real scenario, what we input to the self attention model is uh, the embeddings. Okay, so in this case, we have these are. Um, token ids and then they will fit through the embedding layer and they will be converted into actual uh, features okay so in this case for example you have two input samples and the, each of them have five tokens so it will be like two cross five cross let us say we have four uh, embedding dimension size so it will be two cross five cross four okay so in this case we will simply create a dummy input of that and then we will pass it through the self protection module. So let us create a dummy input. So let us say input shape is equal to. So what it is, it is best size cross sequence length cross embedding dimension. Okay, and we can simply say x is equal to torch dot rand, and we will simply pass into shape. And that is our input. Okay. And now we can simply pass it through the self attention model. So let us say output. There is no output from the model. So we'll simply call attention model x. As we have uh, updated it for mask. So let us uh, first run it without mask. So we will see like how it differs. So let us call this and run it. So now if you look at the attention scores, so we have two heads here. This is first head and this is the second head. But there is no masking involved. Okay. So if you see all the scores are as normal as they should be. Now let us pass the attention masking or attention mask and then see like how these attention scores look like so these are the these are the scores for head one and these are the scores for head two okay so this is coming from this print okay that we added after masking so let us uh, add masking as well so let us say mask is equal to uh, let us say subsequent mask okay now let us run and see it Now, in this case, we have the similar behavior as expected. So, in the first row, we have the first token enabled. In the second row, we have two tokens enabled. And in the third row, we have only two because we have three five tokens in this input. In the second uh, matrix, or for the second input, we have only two pad tokens. So, we will have uh, two pad tokens here, and the remaining tokens will uh, enable one by one. Okay, this is the first head and the similar behavior we have for the second head. Okay, so that works. So I hope it is clear like uh, how uh, uh, the attention masking is actually working in a self attention module. So also we updated our uh, actual attention implementation to accommodate uh, attention masking as well, simply using masked fill method. Okay. 
So we discussed about self-attention module and then we, we discussed about position embeddings. Then also we discussed about masking or attention masking, both encoder as well as decoder. So there are two uh, more basic components there uh, in uh, actual transformer model. They are dropout and uh, normalization. So in next couple of videos, we will discuss uh, these two uh, modules and then uh, later on, we will start implementing our sequence to sequence model using transformer architecture. Okay. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care. See you in the next.